This is Ran Alcatara, editor at large at Gadgets Magazine. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Gadgets TV. We're here to deliver the latest and most relevant topics in tech, lifestyle, and motoring so you can stay up to date with all the news all in one place. First of all, we take a look at the world of tech in Circuit Break. In tech news, Realme has just launched their latest flagship in the Realme X3 Super Zoom. The phone is the first Realme device in the flagship tier and brings an impressive set of hardware to the market, including a 64 megapixel quad camera setup with up to 60x zoom, 120Hz screen refresh rate, and a Snapdragon 855 Plus SoC. One of the more recent companies to enter the local smartphone market, Realme has consistently delivered devices that perform beyond their price point. Microsoft Corporation recently announced a new global skills initiative aimed at bringing more digital skills to 25 million people worldwide by the end of the year. This initiative includes immediate steps to help those looking to reskill and pursue an in-demand job and brings together every part of the company, combining existing and new resources from LinkedIn, GitHub, and Microsoft. Among the company's initiatives are the use of data to identify in-demand jobs and the skills needed to fill them, free access to learning paths and content to help people develop the skills these positions require, and low-cost certifications and free job-seeking tools to help people who develop these skills pursue new jobs. MediaTek, the world's fourth largest global fabless semiconductor company, has just launched its newest chips in the smartphone gaming-focused G-Series, the MediaTek Helio G25 and G35. The latest chips feature the MediaTek Hyper Engine for faster, smoother performance, enhanced power efficiency, and improved graphics. Both chips provide fast gaming experiences powered by ARM Cortex A53 CPUs operating up to 2 GHz and 2.3 GHz respectively, and the chips feature IMG PowerVR GE8320 GPUs with speeds of up to 650 MHz and up to 680 MHz for the MediaTek Helio G25 and G35 respectively, as well as smarter power management for better power efficiency. The Technological Institute of the Philippines, or TIP, recently secured funding from the Department of Science and Technology, Philippine Council for Industry, Energy, and Emerging Technology Research and Development for its automated emergency ventilator prototype. With this grant, TIP is set to produce five units of the prototype design that shall undergo further calibration and testing in government-recognized testing facilities before it can get approval from the Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA. That's it for tech. Now let's take a pit stop and see what's going on in the world of mobility. Mitsubishi Motors Philippine Corporation, or MMPC, shows its appreciation to its customers by giving a free 6th scheduled PMS or 25,000 km preventive maintenance service for those who choose Mitsubishi Motors Genuine Parts and Mitsubishi After Sales Service. The promo is available to all Montero Sport, Strada, Expander, and Mirage units released from April 1, 2020 to March 31, 2021. Units released from February 1 to March 31, 2020, but with the first PMS done before July 1, 2020, will also qualify for the promo. For more info, head over to the Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation website. Yamaha takes a step back in this year's celebration of a heritage that has been shared to the world for decades. For 2020, the 65th edition of this annual milestone is being celebrated differently while still recognizing its significance. Established on July 1, 1955, Yamaha Motor Company was headlined by its flagship motorcycle, the YA-1, lauded for its signature novel color scheme, eye-catching design, combined with light weight and easy maneuverability, and good startup performance. They have since grown to one of the biggest motorcycle brands in the world, with great success both in the consumer market and the premier motorcycle racing league. That's it for Pit Stop. Now let's take a look at what's happening in the lifestyle world. In lifestyle news, starting this month, Spotify is rolling out lyrics to all free and premium users in the Philippines, which gives listeners in-app access to millions of song lyrics in the language in which they are sung. Spotify has a global partnership with Music Smash, the world's largest catalog of song lyrics and translations, to license these lyrics. 
Users can access the feature by tapping the Lyrics tab at the bottom of their Now Playing screen within the app. Spotify is now the world's most popular audio streaming subscription service with a community of more than 286 million users, including 130 million Spotify premium subscribers across 79 markets. They're also the largest driver of revenue to the music business today. And that's it for the latest installment of Gadgets Magazine TV, your rundown of the latest news and features in the world of tech, lifestyle, and motoring. Again, catch us online on Facebook, YouTube, and the Gadgets Magazine website on Tuesdays and Fridays. Thanks for watching and see you next time.